This video is to show you how to use your calculator because everybody's calculator is a little bit different and it can sometimes be hard to figure out how to make yours do what you need it to. So first of all, I want you to go and find the calculator that you're going to use and actually go through these steps with me. Smartphones and the calculator program on your computer sort of work, but not really very well. So if possible, do find yourself a scientific calculator to use for this course. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to type in scientific notation into your calculator. So the idea here is that if you want to type in some value written in scientific notation, like 5.7 times 10 to the power of negative 2, you could just type in 5.7 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2, but there is actually a button on the scientific calculator that'll do the times 10 to the power of whatever comes next for you. So it's simple and it'll also save you some headaches because if you type this value in without using the scientific notation button and you divide by some other number but you forgot to put brackets around this one, you might get a wrong answer. So the scientific notation button allows you to plug in values like this in a way that won't confuse the calculator later. So let me show you how to find your scientific notation button. So the first thing you want to do is figure out who makes your calculator, so who the manufacturer is. There's basically only four companies that make calculators. It's either Sharp, or Casio, or Texas Instruments, or Hewlett Packard. And they use different notations for the scientific notation button. So again, your calculator is going to be made by one of four different companies. So if it's a Sharp or a Hewlett Packard calculator that you've got, check that now. You want to look around on your keypad for a button that says EXP on it. So I've got a sharp calculator here and I go looking for something that says EXP. And there it is right there, so EXP. That will also be true for Hewlett Packard calculators. If your calculator is made by Casio, however, either you're going to have an EXP button or you'll have one that says times 10 to the power of X. So you go looking around on your keypad for either an EXP button or a times 10 to the power of X button. So this Casio calculator also has an EXP button, so it's located down here. And finally, if your calculator is made by Texas Instruments, then you're going to look around on your keypad for a button that says EE, capital EE. So this one has very different notation. So this is a Texas Instruments calculator. We go looking for EE. And it's right above this one, so it's a second function one. So I'd go second function and then this button to get the EE. So again, take a moment, look at your calculator, and figure out what your scientific notation button is. Is it EXP? Is it times 10 to the power of X? Or is it this capital EE? So go look for that button now. Great, so now we've located the scientific notation button. How do we use it? Well, let's use this as our example. This is the value we want to type in, 5.7 times 10 to the power of negative 2. How do we use the scientific notation button to type this in? Well, we'd first type in 5.7, then we type in the scientific notation button, and then we immediately skip over to minus 2. So we don't need to type in any of this stuff. It would just be 5.7, scientific notation button, minus 2. So let's do that now. So on the sharp calculator, We'd go 5.7, and then we want to type the scientific notation button, which in this case is EXP, and then we immediately type in minus 2. If you look at the display here, it says 5.7 and a little tiny times 10, and then above that minus 2. So different calculators are going to have different ways of displaying scientific notation, but this is the way it does it when you type it in. And if you hit equals, you'll notice that in the display they actually use an E, a capital E, to mean times 10 to the power of negative 2. Also, when I hit equals, you'll notice that it usually, and most calculators will do this, it usually transforms it back to normal notation if it has enough space on the display to do that. So again, 5.7, scientific notation button, minus 2. And if I hit equals, it transforms it back to the regular notation, and the display up here is actually using a capital E to mean times 10 to the power of whatever comes next, minus 2. On this calculator, again, this is our scientific notation button down here. So we would type in 5.7, scientific notation button, and then my minus sign is up here, minus 2. It equals, and again, it transforms it back to the regular one, and it uses that same notation. 
And on the Texas Instruments, remember it was this EE -E button, so second function EE, -E, so I would type in 5.7, second function EE, -E, that's my scientific notation button, and then minus 2, hit the equal sign, it changes it, and it uses that same notation with a capital E above. So test yourself out on your calculator. Type in 5.7, scientific notation button, minus 2, hit the equal sign, and make sure that you get the right answer. And one final thing that I'll note is that even though all of these use the same notation on the display, not all calculators will. So for example, you may see 5 capital E O2 to mean 5 times 10 to the power of 2, or you might just see 5 and a little tiny O2 in the corner, which is a little confusing, but this also means 5 times 10 to the power of 2, or you might have a calculator that actually displays it in something that's pretty close to scientific notation already. So just be aware that on the display, you may see a variety of different notations used, depending on your calculator.